Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. This is Scott Reich of Crime Talk. Today, as we head into the weekend, we're going to lighten things up just a little bit, but we're still going to provide you with some advice. Today, we're going to provide you with the Crime Talk Rules of Dating. So let's talk about it. Thank you for watching Crime Talk. This is Scott Reich. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, please hit the like button and always leave a comment. We greatly appreciate it. So as we head into spring and love and romance is in the air, this would be a good time to bring you the Crime Talk Rules of Dating. These rules have been accumulated over the nearly 25 years of criminal defense. They apply equally to both men and women and they have been tested as to be tried and true over the practice of law. This is a pattern that has developed. So let's get to rule number one, trust but verify. Always verify the age of your prospective partner. 18 is the age of consent in most jurisdictions. It may be 14 in some Central American countries, but in the United States, it's 18 years of age. Get verification. Make sure it's not a forgery. Remember, makeup can add at least 10 years. Be careful. You don't want 14 years old getting you life. Just like when you go to the ball game and you go and buy a beer, the guy has that big sign that says, we ID everyone under 40, you should too. Rule number two. Know the issues that you will be dating. Always check the medicine cabinet of your prospective partner. If your prospective partner is taking medication for mental health issues, it is not a deal breaker. But if they're not taking their medicine, be afraid. Eventually, someone is going to jail, either you or your new love interest. Rule number three. If you do have a situation where the police are called, remember, someone is probably going to jail. If you don't want to be that person, remember, the first one to the phone usually does not go to jail. Crime Talk rule of dating number four, do not overthink the obvious. If your partner wants a protection order against you, that is not their way of playing hard to get. Don't overthink it. The relationship is over. Move along. Number five of the Crime Talk Rules of Dating. If there is infidelity, the relationship is over. The relationship could possibly be saved, but in my experience, these usually don't work out. Reality is, if either you or your partner wants to or has slept with someone else, they're probably done sleeping with you. And it usually involves an argument, and so please refer back to the previous Crime Talk rule. All right, moving right along. The sixth rule of the Crime Talk rules of dating are let it go. You do not always have to be correct, particularly to the point where you've engaged into an argument. Most people who have been arrested on a domestic violence case can rarely remember exactly what they were arguing about. So ask yourself, is this argument really worth going to jail over? Is this argument really worth ending your relationship? If not, let it go. You don't always have to be right. Rule number seven, choose. You shouldn't and can't be friends with your ex. Your ex's new relationship will be jealous that you're still talking to their new boyfriend. Choose who you want to spend the rest of your life with. You can't have both. Additionally, guys will think that from there on out, if you talk with them, you're nothing but a booty call. And it creates issues with your new love interest. If you want a booty call with your ex, please Tell your current boyfriend or girlfriend and refer them back to Crime Talk relationship rule number five. Crime Talk rules of dating number eight. Strippers. 
only equal two things, domestic violence or sexual assault allegations. Relationship with adult entertainers, a.k.a. strippers, never ends well. Just don't do it. Crime talk rules of dating number nine. If your relationship requires you to pay actual dollars for your girlfriend or boyfriend to hang out with you or to be intimate with you, they are not really your boyfriend or girlfriend. They are a prostitute. Crime talk rules of dating number 10. Do not be a victim of a catfish. If your new relationship prospect won't meet you in person, only sends pictures and comes up with an excuse not to live chat you, but will ask you to send money to help them with their financial situation, you are being scammed. Be, you are smarter than that. Rule number 11, you cannot fix them. Women generally date men or marry them hoping to change the guy. You can't. Rule number 12, because we're equal opportunists, they will change, all right? Men date women and marry them hoping that they won't change. They will. Don't be surprised when they do. Crime talk rules of dating number 13. Get a background check. You can obtain a background check for about $7 online. Find out someone's history. Most people spend more time investigating the appliance they want to buy than the person that they're actually going to be dating. True story. Woman does a background check on her new love interest, finds out he has a warrant for murder. Okay? Could have really ended poorly. Best seven bucks she ever spent. Crime talk rule number 14. The guy who is always between jobs, can never get a break, expects the girlfriend to support him, and has three jobs to do that, he has no plans for the future, is a loser. Please refer back to Crime Talk Dating Rule number 11. Facial tattoos, all right? Nothing wrong with tattoos. But facial tattoos demonstrate impulsivity and poor decision-making skills. And if you're going to date someone with facial tattoos, it may show impulsivity on your part as well as poor decision-making. Don't do it. Number 16, caveat emptor, or in modern-day language, check under the hood. All right? It's a strange new world out there, ladies and gentlemen, but we've seen lots more of this in the dating world of apps. Make sure she is really a she if that's who you're looking for. Make sure that he is really a he if that's who you're looking for. In today's new world, unless you're not really sure what you're looking for, those results could wind you up in jail and possibly be charged with hate crimes. So, buyer beware. So, we appreciate you tuning into Crime Talk. We really do uh, appreciate all that you do. We tried to lighten it up a little bit today, but try to bring you some practical advice and knowledge. And like I said, not trying to be too uh, flippant with these rules, but over the years, we've just seen cases where the pattern just seems to repeat itself. And over the years, we have also just kind of written these down and they have kind of developed. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had fun. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with a friend and hit that little bell if you'd like to be notified of new videos or when we go live. Have a great day and thank you for watching Crime Talk.